Hello, dear viewers. My name is Sitrazi Fisimha. Today we'll continue the course on interpretation of results of geochemical studies of oil, gas, rock, and formation water. Today's A's part is practical interpretation of results of carbon isotopic composition in gases. This topic is important for those who want to learn about the source of gas in fields and the, the genetic relationships between gases from different gas caps. If you want to interpret the results of this analysis, I recommend watching this video till the end. This slide provides brief information about myself. I already introduced myself first time. Here's information about the structure of the course on these geochemical studies. The course consists of 15 parts. Of this, we have already covered topics on oil. In the last lesson, I showed you the application of gas chromatography of gas. In this lesson, I will explain you the application of the results of carbon isotope composition in gases to determine the sources of gases and their genetic characterizations. The results of the isotope composition of carbon in gases are used to determine mainly five parameters gas type, environmental condition, thermal maturity. It is also possible to determine gas biodegradation, genetic typing of different gases. This slide presents the equipment used to conduct geochemical studies of gases. Gas sampling is carried out at wellheads using this MK Bay. 200 sampler, the component composition, gas chromatography composition of gas is determined on gas chromatography crystal, while the carbon isotope composition in gases is carried out in the isotope mass spectrometer to which a gas chromatography is attached. Gas compounds in GCD are separated by the capillary column. In the case of low concentration of hydrocarbons, a crafting method cooling with liquid nitrogen is used. Natural gases is a natural mixture of hydrocarbons of various compositions. When analyzing hydrogen gases from oil and gas fields, the main components are methane, ethane, propane, butane, pentane, and others. Hydrocarbon gases consist mainly of methane are called dry gases with significant composition of heavy hydrocarbons are called wet gases. Molecular compositions are easily affected by secondary processes. Therefore, carbon isotope compositions in gases are more resistant to compositional alterations and as a result allow to characterize gas, gases more reliably. The molecular and the isotopic composition of hydrocarbons in C1, C5 gases from reservoirs provide information about type of gases, environmental condition, thermal maturity, biodegradation, genetic typing, and secondary processes can significantly alter the original molecular mass and stable isotope compositions. As we said, natural carbon consists of two stable isotopes, 12C and 13C. As you can see, the light isotopes make up almost 99%, while the heavy ones make up more than 1%. Isotopic composition of carbon is expressed by a ratio. Here there are ratios for the sample and for the standard. This minus sign indicates that the value of the resulted range is less than the standard. In the second example, it is the other way around. The isotopic and the molecular composition of methane can be used to determine the source or type of gas, so whether they are biogenic or thermogenic gas. Methane is released as an end product by a bacteria called biogenic bacterial. Such gas is formed at low temperatures and slightly enriches the heavy carbon isotope of methane up to 60 per mile. Since bacterial activity results in a very heavy concentration of methane with negligible concentration of microbial ethane, propane, and butane, the ratios of methane to these gases get very high. Thermogenic gases are directly related to the cracking of oil into kerogen. Based on this, a Bennett plot can be constructed where all gas samples from four pieces of Kazakhstan are in the zone of thermogenic origin. 
The isotope composition of carbon provides information about the environmental condition. Thermogenic gas can be in divided into two groups. The first group includes gases extracted from coal derived from terrestrial humic organic matter, and the second group includes associated petroleum gases derived from marine sapropheric organic matter. Methane released from terrigenous sources, kerogen type 3, is usually more enriched than the heavy isotope of 13C compared with methane of marine source. Based on this, this plot is useful for determining the environmental condition of organic matter. Here, all samples are in the zone of marine organic matter. As we said earlier, with increasing thermal maturity, 13 C values increase, become heavily heavier or less negative due to generation of hydrocarbons. This is because less energy is required to break the bonds between the lightest and the most abundant isotopes. So here the plot of carbon isotope composition of propane and ethane can be used to determine the thermal maturity of gases. Gases become biodegraded, especially in the gas water contact zone or in shallow reservoirs. Bacteria eat up light propane isotopes and the remaining gas becomes heavier. In this regard, as can be seen in the figure, the samples from well number 55 in eastern Makat field is biodegraded. Biodegradation of this product as well is confirmed by the results of gas chromatography and analysis of its oil. As can be seen in figure 9, chromatogram of oil, 55, the presence of nastenic hump in the absence and the, the absence of light fraction indicate biodegradation. For genetic typing and in-depth characterization of a thermogenic gas, three plots can be used. The Laurent plot, which is used to determine at what stages of cracking the studied gas are generated. The Clayton diagram, where four gas sources can be identified. There's a Clayton diagram, almost all of the studied gas are in the oil-associated gas. According to the Laurent graph or plot, gas is generated as a result of different stages of kerogen or oil cracking differ is a difference of isotopic and the molecular composition of ethane and the propane. This Chang diagram can be used according to which hydrocarbons C1, C4 having one source should extrapolate a straight line in the coordinate. Here is a practical task. You should determine gas type and environmental condition of organic matter, thermal maturity of gases, biodegradation. Thank you for your attention.